Hey guys, before the start of this video, I wanted to say shout out to you, Jacob, who came through my line while I was working at Publix. Thank you for shopping at Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how Kendall Beckwith is going to miss the 2019-2020 season as he has been placed on the reserve non-football injury list. So, without further ado, guys, let's talk about it. This is some insanely, insanely unfortunate news. I cannot say enough how terrible of news this is. It was reported by Jenna Lane of ESPN, Greg Amon of The Athletic, Rick Shroud of the Tampa Bay Times, your usual suspects for reporting this kind of news. It seems very apparent that Beckwith is going to miss the 2019-2020 season right after missing the 2018-2019 season due to a car accident that was suffered in April of last year's offseason, and since then, he is not been able to basically been on any type of football field. I believe he practiced with the Buccaneers for, I believe, 21 days last year um, at some point during last year's season, but that was it. You know, since then, he has not played a game for two years now. You know, it seems like he's not going to be able to play a game for the next two years, which is just insanely unfortunate. Now, I know a lot of people have said, you know, his career's over. And, you know, especially the feeling around one buck place right now is, you know, his career's over. And I'll talk about a Bruce Arians quote here in a moment. But again, you know, you'd like to have some type of optimism there that hopefully one day Beckwith could continue his football career. He is only 24 years old. And whenever you look at another example, especially on the Buccaneers team being Jack Sitchie, who did not play football for eight months um, that does you know give some type of a glimmer of optimism to you know hopefully one day Beckwith can return but especially for the the case of this upcoming season it definitely is apparent that he's not going to be able to play now I want to talk about the quote that Bruce Arians said now keep in mind this isn't like a callous quote or anything like that this is just the fact of the matter okay uh, you this is the Bruce Arians quote here you hate to see guys lose their career off the field. It's just unfortunate you have to move on. Now, again, you know, this isn't a callous quote by Bruce Arians. Like, how could he say you have to move on? You know, it, 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 at the end of the day, the NFL is a business. You do have to move on. You can't linger on these types of things. Um, but you can recognize that, yes, it's insanely unfortunate. Just like what Bruce Arians said, it's insanely unfortunate to see such a young player you know, potentially lose their career at such a young age. Beckwith is only 24. Um, former third-round pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. You know, he was drafted pretty much a couple years after Quan Alexander. And I remember a lot of people saying that, you know, if, if, if there is a situation where Quan Alexander does have to go into free agency and leave the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we already have his replacement in Kendall Beckwith. And then that situation with the car accident happened last offseason, and that just derailed all these plans you know obviously the Buccaneers ended up with a guy like Devin White but again you know you would love to have a guy like Kendall Beckwith out there and playing with the rest of the guys I'm a linebacker core of Levante David Devin White and Kendall Beckwith would be insane it would be absolutely insane, but now, unfortunately, Beckwith is going to miss yet another season. Obviously, the Buccaneers haven't cut him or anything like that, so which is good, in my opinion. I think that that is a very good move by the team, very high-class move of them, but man, this just sucks. You know, this just absolutely sucks. Coupling this uh, injury-related news with the Jason Pierre-Paul news, which I will be making a video about that as well, this is just a really crappy week for Buccaneers in terms of injuries and whatnot. It just... It's not good. It's not good under any circumstances. If this is, you know, potentially the end of Kendall Beckwith's career, I still like to hold some type of optimism. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there um, who would like to hold some form of optimism as well for Beckwith hopefully one day being able to return and just play football, period. You know, um, if that can't happen, one thing that I would love to see is Beckwith transition to a type of coaching role, much like what Alan Cross did recently when he retired from the Buccaneers. I would love to see a situation where Beckwith can be possibly an assistant linebackers coach somewhere. Maybe even he can be a, uh, a coaching assistant for the Buccaneers. That seems like something that Bruce Arians would do, just kind of have that kind of high class ability you know, to hire people and, you know, really give them a chance to continue their football careers in any way, shape, and form. I would love to see that kind of uh, trajectory for Beckwith should he actually be done 
playing the sport of football, kind of seeing him transition into a role as a coach would be a really, really cool thing to see in my opinion. But guys, that's pretty much all I have for you for this video. What do you think about this Kendall Beckwith news? Um, do you think he will be able to one day continue playing his football career? And if he can't, would you like to see him be an assistant coach on this Buccaneers team one day? Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments section below. Again, super, super unfortunate news. You know, I wish Kendall Beckwith nothing but the best of health and hopefully one day he can come back and play football um, and, you know, continue his NFL career. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video hope y'all enjoyed but until the next video or the next uh, live stream i'll see you in the next one but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go bucks